Hi guys, welcome to Langdale in the English Lake District. Come up this week to get my fix of vert and it hasn't disappointed. I've also hit 300k in the normal Palmer, so I figured it was time to dive in the full review of this shoe. I've managed to clock 300 kilometers in this shoe. Swiss Alps, English Lake District, city trails, you name it. This shoe has been put through the ringer. Muddy terrain, rocky terrain, gravel. I have thoroughly tested this shoe and I have a, I have a strong opinion on it. In terms of shoe stats, there's an eight mil drop, 31 and 23. The shoe comes in at 260 grams, which is 60 grams more than the Sherag. It doesn't feel like a real heavy shoe, but it certainly doesn't feel like a light shoe. The shoe does fit true to size. I have a UK 9.5. I'm a 9.5 in a Hoka. I'm a 9.5 in a Sherag. I'm a 9.5 in La Sportiva. So it fits true to size. So if you're going to try it out, you know what size to get. There's a Vibram Mega Grip light base outsole with five millimeter lugs in a, like a hexagonal pattern. They're holding up really well. Very impressed. There's a semi-gusseted tongue. I have the insole out right now as the shoe was wet. It's got an asymmetric lacing pattern, which I'm not a big fan of how it looks, but it is what it is. I tend to get some um, scrunching down at the bottom eyelets, even though this is the perfect length of shoe for me. So maybe my foot is just a little too narrow for this shoe. Unlike the Sherag, the Tomer is not minimal. In fact, it's borderline maximal. Look at this big heel counter and stuff. There's definitely a good bit of foam under underfoot. One of the things I don't like about that is this foam is not squishy. I mean, <laughs> there's not much squish to this. And I don't know why they just didn't put the Sherag foam in this. It's just, it's not fun underfoot. To be honest, it's it's like a, a better made, more durable hookah. I, I think Normal may have looked at the market, they've created the, the Sherag and thought, what shoe do we need that is not Sherag? Because that's certainly for one type of runner and this is for another. It's almost like a different type of shoe to have in your quiver. I tend to reach for this when I don't want to feel every pebble underfoot. It'll cruise over technical ground and you'll not feel everything. With the Sherag, you really do have to just watch where you place your feet. In terms of price, the Tomer comes in at £140 or $165. So that is 40 quid or $30 uh, cheaper than the Sherag. Something I really love about this shoe is the grip. I think it's its number one feature. These lugs, this lug pattern, this rubber compound, it's really durable, it's really grippy. Muck, rock, gravel, you name it. This shoe does well. Normal build this as the everyday trainer and I can kind of see why. It's not the, it's not a racer like the Sherag. This is just like, the daily trail shoe. Stick it on, do your run, do your long run, do whatever you're gonna do. I definitely not reach for it on a workout, but everything else, it's good to go. What other shoes does it remind me of? I sort of think it's like a more durable Hoka. It's a little bit like a La Sportiva Acacia or a Mutant, somewhere between those and like a Hoka Mafati 4. Swap over to the Mutant and the Acacia, absolute bomb-proof shoes, flat, no energy return, but very consistent and steady. If you like those shoes, you might like this. 
In terms of dislikes, I've got a couple. I already mentioned earlier about the lacing. I'm not a fan. I always have to retie these shoes, especially if they get wet. There's just uh, a little bit too much movement up here for me. I can't, I mean, don't get me wrong, the fit's comfortable. It's not uncomfortable, but I always have to tighten the shoe once during a run. So in conclusion, I really wanted to love all the normal gear. I'm a mad Killian fan. The guy is the greatest mountain runner of all time. That all said, I think I would still keep this in my quiver if it wasn't for the, the, the trip hazard. You can get them resold, but realistically, the lugs are hardly even worn after 300K. I almost feel like trimming this away and just exposing the toe. So I'd rather hit my toe <laughs> than trip on a rock and follow my face. My barometer for whether I would recommend the shoe is very simple. Would I buy it again? And the simple answer is no. Realistically, this shoe, if it wasn't for this, probably still has hundreds and hundreds of kilometers left in it. All right, guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you find it useful, hit the like button, smash the subscribe, do all that shit that you know it's good for me. Also, let me know in the comments, do you have normal gear? Do you have the shoes? Do you have the Tomer? Do you like it? Do you have the Sherag? Do you like it? Hit me up with some intel. I want to know, am I the only dude that's tripping up in the Tomer? If you're on the fence about this shoe and you're thinking, will I, won't I? Let me know in the comments what you currently run in and I'll let you know what I think about that. Anyway guys, that's it for this one. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Whenever it's a motor, false false, I'll be your clear up. Then I'll hope the show goes. Whenever it's a motor, false false, I'll be your clear up.